What's up guys, Derek from daysdesigns.com with another YouTube tutorial. Let's get to the video. All right, so in today's video, as you can tell from the thumbnail, I'll be doing a tutorial for eSports jersey designs. After my two um, uploads uh, for jersey designs, um, you guys seem to like them and a lot of you guys requested that I do a nice little tutorial showing over, um, showing you know my design process and um, any tips that I may have for creating jersey designs for eSports jerseys. The same thing can be implemented into another kind of jersey design as well. It doesn't just have to be eSports. However, this is going to be mainly focused and centered around eSports styled jersey designs. So to begin, um, right now I'm using a mock-up template for a t-shirt. And you can also do the same thing um, for, you can use the t-shirt template for jerseys. Anyways, it's from yellowimages.com. Um, I will have links in the description. This is the front template for the t-shirt. And then this is the back template. Um, as you guys can tell, very high quality. You can see the stitching. Let me change the stitching really quick. So I'll have to change the stitching to our pink. Bam, as you guys can see, great great quality i would highly recommend this template i used this one for my previous two jersey design speed arts if you haven't seen those i'll be sure to link those in the description as well so yeah let's get started with the video guys um so again i'm using the jersey design template from yellow images great template and um this one whenever you purchase it it is a paid template so it's like 15 for the front 15 for the back if i had a discount code i would love to hook you guys up maybe i can um talk yellow images into hooking me up with a um, with a discount code for you guys. I'll try my best guys and let you know as soon as possible. So you have a t-shirt panel and a parts panel. So the parts is, I only use this one for the collar because I usually don't put over, I usually don't put that much of a design on the collar. So I will be changing this. When, it, when I first got it, it was white and then I changed it to this gray I'm gonna be using. So. After that, you have the t-shirt panel, which has your highlights and shadows. It also has the parts, so you can see each of the separate parts that you can change and edit, modify, whatever you want to say. And then we have the smart object panel right here. And this is where most of our work and most of my work is going to be taking place in. As you guys can see, I made a quick, um, made a quick tag with my logo on here. Pretty cool, pretty nice, simple, effective. All right, so... Um, I'm going to be using a logo design that I made about a year ago. This is just a basic D logo design. And um, so normally what I would do, hold on, just to give you a little bit more insight. So normally what I would do is just copy and paste. So just control C, that's the copy from Adobe Illustrator. And then control V and that is to paste as a smart object. So once you paste it in here, you have to make sure it's on the right layer. So another thing about the template that makes it so awesome is that you can, or that it has smart objects for different parts of the jersey design. This is the chesticle area. <laughs> this is the upper torso, the main body part in the middle. So the good thing about the smart object is whenever you close it, it automatically, um, I can't remember the word, but you'll see in a, in a moment or not. Why did that not work? Let's move this over. All right, so there should be a wrinkle right here. Okay, great. So whenever you put it inside of the smart object, it automatically changes and moves around and works with the t-shirt itself. So all the wrinkles will show up perfectly. It'll adjust the design in comparison to just placing it over top like um, I do and that I'll be doing throughout this tutorial. So again, the main reason why I won't be using the smart object for the main part because it has a tendency to skew the objects and they don't look the way I want them to and the way I created them. So I'm gonna be mainly using clipping masks. So again, I usually start off with the logo design and put it in the middle. So I like to think about, um, just for basic jersey designs, think about the Iron Man suit. If you haven't seen the movie, make sure to watch it. Check it out, feel free to use it as reference if you like. So that's, um, if you remember the light in the middle of his chest, that's ten, I tend to put my logo designs there for the jersey designs great spot great place and then this will work so another thing to keep in mind it has the left arm and the right arm in regards to the smart objects sometimes i do use those when i put the um what's it called put the sponsors on the arms however and this one i won't be because again i'll be putting designs over it and i don't want it to um skew and i don't want to you know spend 30 45 minutes to properly adjust everything because it'll look awesome without it so let's get started i usually for creating jersey designs, I usually use, I usually draw most of my inspiration from the logo itself. And, um, you know, just 
really trying to complement the logo design and I do use that as a focal point for the jersey so that's just another thing to keep in mind um, I'm gonna make this gray I do have a great idea in mind similar to my cloud nine jersey design a lot of you guys like that one I loved it as well that was probably my third take on that one and then the last one I decided screw it I'll just keep it simple and then that one worked the best so um, if you're ever creating a jersey design don't overcomplicate things but make sure there is enough going on that it doesn't look boring and plain like it took 10 seconds or something so um man this could be this could be made better I'm trying to get this line perfect but not too much around this here all right so again i'm going to be changing this one to a gray that i decided to use for this logo i feel like it looks really awesome with the pinkish color all right so after that i have this i'm going to be using as the base shape again really just trying to make the design curvy just because it the the logo design is a circle so using that same um curve lines in the design will just really complement uh, the logo design it'll just look well-rounded and just look dope in general so right now i'm just making kind of like stripes just to look really awesome i guess pinstripes if you could say if you would like to call it i'm going to change this one right here make this one a pink gradient or it could just be pink itself so it's kind of like a pink and a um like a dark pink or hot pink and then kind of like a brighter pink that's the gradient on our logo design so this could be further adjusted. Awesome, so just finished up the stripe right here, the pink pinstripe, and now we're gonna move on to the arm right here. So again, whenever you create the objects that you would like to put on your jersey design, make sure that they are being, um, that you're creating clipping masks, again, so that they stay on the jersey and they're in the right place. So again, this is the front portion. As you can see, it's pretty much just this right here. And another quick tip, one thing I like to do, don't always do it, but right here, is kind of taper this in the design because in a sense it kind of has a aesthetic that makes um, the body look a little bit thinner so that's another thing to keep in mind like um, similar to black clothing like black shirts or something so next up again I'm going to work on the arm right here so I'm just gonna follow this one and uh, keep a really simple design I'm gonna bring this one up and then I'm gonna have this one go over it's got a Go to the middle, bring it to there, way too far out, okay, great, now I'm going to bring this one, how do I do it, okay, go down, and then bring it around, so it's almost going to be as if there's a gray stripe right here, This I'm going to change this to gray, again, this is just my design, it's just something I'm doing at the moment, feel free to be as creative as possible, guys, when you are creating these, so with the arms, one thing you have to do is um, make sure that the design is on the main part of the body and then duplicate it and bring it to the arm right here. So again, this is the arm, the right arm from the character's perspective and you'll have to do the same thing on the left side. And um, so next up, we're gonna do our pink pinstripe as well. So I'm gonna start from here. I'm gonna make this the same gradient that we used before, which is pink, um, excuse me, dark pink to a light pink. And again, um, this could have just been one color, just all one pink color. I decided to make a gradient because, hey, why not? They're not really getting printed anyway, so there's no need to worry about it. But one thing to keep in mind when you are creating jersey designs, sometimes I have heard that there's been trouble with uh, printing in regards of gradients or they're hard to print or something like that. So just keep that in mind. Don't go insane on any gradients and you may want to not use them at all. That's one thing to um, make sure to ask your um whoever's providing the print production create clipping masks right here so now we need to make a white one right here make this one below everything bam right to our middle point and then bring it all the way around awesome so change this one to white and then Awesome, so now we have to do the same thing right above this layer just to get rid of this portion right here. 
wrap that around to the middle and then bam just making sure we're recording all right so now i'm going to change this to white and then it should get rid of this right here bam okay now we have our design whoa that's not good <laughs> okay so now i have to edit this just so it's not showing all right so now we are great all right awesome so we just finished up our arm another thing i want to do actually never mind I'll, okay so now whenever whenever you finish one side of the design you have to or this is what i do so i uh, control j and that is to duplicate everything control t and then flip horizontally so we can put everything from the right or sorry from the left to the right make sure everything is aligned in the center and then all we have to do is create a clipping mask and then now everything that was on the right or sorry the left is on the right so now we have to do the same thing for the arm like we did right here for the right arm from their perspective um we're gonna get this one this one this one these three layers and then hold alt click and drag and then we bring that to bring that above the left arm and then we have it right there bam so now everything from the left side is on the right side all right, so as you can see, it's a l still a little bit plain. One thing I want to try is to work with this logo design because I love the lines, I love the shapes on it and everything. So I'm gonna try to implement that into our design a little bit more. So one thing sometimes that I, wait, is that showing white? Okay, no, it's just messing up. All right, so one thing I tried to do is um, that I've seen uh, a lot of designers do and that I've done myself and it sometimes work out, works out pretty well is actually use the logo design within the jersey. So, okay guys, so one thing that I did do was, you see this white outline right here. I pretty much copied, clicked and dragged this gray one right here. As you can see, this one that's being highlighted, I pretty much copy and pasted it right below it. And then you can see it right here. And then I made sure that the lines are within this so that our logo right here doesn't touch on this because if it did, it would have looked like this. So this is something that I did last night and that I'm recreating everything. So um, I wanted to bring this one up a little bit more. And as you guys can see, that makes a pretty dope design if I may say so myself. Before it was a little bit boring and now with that, um, with that slight change, it makes it all the more unique. So I'm gonna do the same thing for the shoulder right here. I'm just gonna pin tool everything in this case and that should be good now we're going to click and drag this to our right arm and make sure it's above the white one and then bam so now we have the same thing on the shoulder and again very simple guys but it helps a lot and i think it looks really dope so now we have to rotate everything from the left side or from those two adjustments left from the left to the right now it's perfect all right guys so now usually when i'm finished with the front another thing that i do is uh, begin to add any sponsors. So before I do that, I wanna create a quick pinstripe on the neck. So another thing, again, when you have the parts, you can use them, but you do not have to use them. So again, as you can see, I'm turning the whole parts off and on. And considering we have so many, um, we already have our designs overlaid on top of it, it's irrelevant. So now that I, I'm only gonna be using the collar because that's the only thing you can see. So I wanted a gray and then again, a white pinstripe just to match our pinstripes over here so i'm going to quickly line this guy in and it's going to be white awesome all right so that should be perfect oh no it's not <laughs> all right so we're going to go back a little bit take a few steps back all right, so you guys, I want to make sure that the pinstripe is seen on the inside as well. I want to make this look as realistic as possible. So when we do create that clipping mask, it looks like um, you can see the back on the front. If that makes any sense. So now once I create the clipping mask, bam. Okay, so now we can see the pinstripe going around the collar. Now all we have to do is click, hold alt, click and drag. Control T, again, flip horizontally, click, drag to the right side, and then line it up with the middle. So, bam, now we have it. Now we just create that clipping mask. So again, now I'm going to begin to lay in my sponsor. So I have a big file that I've created over the last year um, where I just keep a bunch of sponsors in that I've collected, and then I just put them in. So again, as you guys remember, 
if you guys remember, I said you could, you know, use the smart objects for the arms, but let's see what happens. I'll put it in. If I'm not mistaken, it will not show. Right, because we already have a white shape covering our arms, so we're going to have to di directly place them and create clipping mats again. So that's we're going to start on the right arm. So I'm going to control V because I controlled C, copied it, and now we're pasting it into our Photoshop file. So whenever you're placing sponsors, guys, make sure you're using the right sponsors and the right logo designs. You do not want sponsors to be mad or sad <laughs> for using the wrong logo design. Just gonna put this one here and then again, create clipping mask and bam, we have our sponsors on there. So I could just put this on all, uh, all black. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the left arm. So now we have the whole front of the design is finished. So now again, from the from taking your designs from the front to the back, it's pretty much the same as rotating from the left to right, right to left, whatever you wanna say. So. Again, we're just going to open this one into a, or we're going to open the window and then we're going to click and drag everything basically from here and then bring it onto the back. And then it's just a matter of adjusting from there and forward. So we don't need the logo. I'm going to take it anyway. And I'm going to highlight all the layers that we want to copy from this one to this one. Hold Alt, click and drag, and then they are in this file. So now we just have to make sure they're on the right layer, which they are not. They're currently. In the parts area, we need to make sure, bam, they're <laughs> in the smart object area. So now we control T, now we have everything. We just need to align it and then make any further adjustments. And bang. Okay, so I believe that is perfect. So now we just got to put our logo design. Oh, that's not it. All right, so now our logo, make this one nice and small. I'm gonna bring this guy up here, just so you know from the back who's running things around here. All right, so just switched up the font to a geometric font because our logo is a circle, geometric shape, just so everything is copacetic or everything looks great together. So again, whenever you're transferring uh, the front design to the back or the back to the front, you have to make sure that everything is properly aligned. You'll notice right here that on the shoulders, it's not perfect. So I'm gonna edit that a little bit more. And um, so yeah, I'm gonna edit this side and then we're gonna copy and paste to the left side. All right, so just made a few adjustments to the left side right here, or I guess you could say the right for us. So now I'm going to put everything over here, create a clipping mask, and now you guys can see that it's identical and matches the front. So now I'm just going to do the same thing again for the left side or uh, the character's right side and then I'll get back to you in a second. All right, so I pretty much just clicked and dragged everything from the right to the left and I did that over top of the main portion and then copied and pasted that to the left side of the arm right here. So now everything is reflecting properly as you guys can see. So now we have to add our, we have to again add in our, our sponsors to the arms, both arms and I'm gonna put some more in this area right here. <clears throat> All right, so now again, we had the, what's the name? The Logitech sponsor, great logo design. If you guys know who designed it, feel free to let me know and I'll feel free, and I will be sure to, sp um, not sponsor them. I'll feel free to, feel free. Okay, I gotta add that out. <laughs> All right, so now we are back with our sponsor right here, Logitech. If you guys know who created the logo design, feel free to let me know and I'll be sure to follow them on Twitter follow the greatest guys not that this logo design is the greatest but i'm just saying just so you guys know um i will uh, be selling this logo design right here so if you guys are interested in that and the jersey design as well feel free to hit me up and i'll be sure to uh, continue our conversation in an email so anyways now that we have that on the proper side now we are going to again create a clipping mask and then we have our sponsors in. So now we gotta do the same thing for the right arm. Control T, drag, and then I'm gonna have to further adjust these a little bit more. And that one about there. Gotta edit this one on the top. Awesome, all right, so now create a clipping mask and bam, those are done. So next up, we're gonna add some other sponsors. All right, so copy, paste, 
Control C, Control V to bring it in here. We're gonna bring that guy right there. So next up, um, we're going to use our Logitech sponsor. And um, we're gonna keep this one all black, might as well. And then next up, gotta use G Fuel, where you at? There you are. Let's put this guy black. Make this one a little bit bigger. Bounce that down a little bit. And then we're gonna get our Scuff Gaming Sponsor. Make sure we got everything highlighted. Control C, Control V on Photoshop. And we have our sponsor. So gonna bring this guy up a little bit more. This guy up a little bit more. And then Scuff Gaming can even be made a little bit smaller. All right, so our jersey design is finished, guys. I hope you enjoyed this YouTube tutorial for creating esports jersey designs. Hopefully, this guys helps. Hopefully, this helps you guys and gives you a little bit of insight on a few tips on how to create better esports jersey designs. And again, this template, both the front and the back, can be found in li links in the description below from yellowimages.com. And also this jersey design as well as the logo design will be up for sale. If you're interested, feel free to reach out via email. If not, I hope you enjoyed the video. So again, guys, like the video. If you like it, feel free to subscribe for more awesome content on the Days Designs YouTube channel. And I'll be sure to catch you guys in the next one. Take care.